Hey everybody. So today I'm going to show you uh, Navisworks and updating clashes. This is going to be a really basic video, uh, but I got some comments on another one of my videos talking about clash detection and just want to show uh, you guys real quick on how, or for the people that don't know how to do this, how to update uh, your clashes. It's really easy uh, to do. So um, here, I have a model set up. I've got one clash test called HVAC versus mech piping. Um, and we have 56 clashes in there currently. I just updated this, so it's, it's the first time it's ran. Uh, so this is the NWF setup. It has the NWCs appended to it. And then I have my, te my test set up and I updated it. All right, so now what we're going to do is run new exports. Um, I'm only going to run HVAC and mech piping. And so... What I'm going to do is open up my Navis and uh, HVAC uh, view, and then I'm going to open up my Mech Piping view. Uh, something I want to point out real quick is that you can organize these views uh, in a better spot in your project browser, so you can put it underneath like something called Navis Works, or maybe uh, Coordination, or Coordination and then Navis Works. So you can you can get pretty creative with that and put it somewhere that makes sense. Um, but for now, I just have it in the default uh, spot because it doesn't have any uh, organization uh, to it right now. So, Navis HVC, go up here to File, go down here to Export, uh, NWC. I want to assume you have the NWC exporter, but if you don't, go and Google that. And you can uh, get get it from the Autodesk website. You can download out download it from out there. If I remember to put it below uh, a link to it, uh, I'll try to do that. But if not, uh, just Google it or, or just uh, send me an e email. So, um, Navis HVAC. Uh, I also made some changes to this model. Uh, so we will see that updated in the the new or in the Navisworks model. So that will run. That's what it's doing now. And it's, it's pretty quick. And then down here, I'm going to do the same. Oops. Go down here to NWC. And then I'm going to click on Mech Piping. Now, I quickly threw these views together. You may not want to include HVAC equipment and stuff. And, uh, and um, your NWC is like this. So don't, you know, create your... 3D NWC views, um, you know, in, in a way that best fits your firm and what you're trying to do or the way that you want to clash different things. In this example, I just threw this together uh, really quickly. So anyways, uh, the NWC is exported. So now what we're going to do is jump back into Navisworks. And in here, you can see nothing's changed. But if we go on the Home tab, hit Refresh. Oops. Hey everybody, <clears throat> I had to pause it real quick um, to move the, the NWCs in the correct folder. I exported them to the wrong folder. So I moved them to the right folder, clicked refresh, and it refreshed it. And then over here to the left, you can see this caution symbol. You may see this also when you open up the model maybe a week um, later after new exports have been ran. You may see this caution symbol, and all that means is that there's been a new NWC, or if I hover over it, you can see that um, <clears throat> kind of a brief um, description on what that, that means. But it, it, all it's saying is that uh, something your, your model's changed, or your NWCs have been um, uh, updated since the last time you ran this test. So now all we have to do is click update all. And then now you can see we've got uh, 46 active clashes. We have 56 in total. We have 46 active. We have no new clashes. And then 10 resolved. So um, now what we can do is take this information and start to go through and find these clashes and resolve them in the other model. Uh, are in Revit and then export on a new NWC and then again update this test so that's it it's really simple you export your nwc's you go in here and you click update all that is it so that's all i got um one thing i want to mention 
before I jump off is the Discord channel. Feel free to join that if you want to talk about BIM and data science stuff. Um, it's you know just a little community of people that are interested in this stuff. So feel free to jump on there and ask questions and talk with other people or post cool articles, whatever you want. Um, but thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.